Welcome to a video presentation of an implantation of a Sorin Mitroflow aortic pericardial bioprosthesis. The patient is a 60-year-old male with known long-standing aortic insufficiency and a significant diminution of left ventricular function with an estimated ejection fraction of approximately 30%. His symptom complex revolves around extreme shortness of breath, particularly on exertion. After a thorough discussion of the risks of long-term utilization of Coumadin, the patient opted to proceed with utilization of a bioprosthetic valve. On table, pre-procedure, transesophageal echo is consistent with severe aortic insufficiency and the presence of a trileaflet aortic valve, consistent with our preoperative workup. The approach for this particular patient was through a standard median sternotomy incision. Pericardial fat is dissected free to expose the underlying pericardium. Cannulation sutures are placed following systemic heparinization and the patient is placed on cardiopulmonary bypass. The aorta is cross clamped and core temperature is allowed to drift. A standard oblique aortotomy incision is made, extending down towards the non-coronary sinus with excellent exposure. The aortic valve demonstrates rolled leaflets and lack of central coaptation consistent with the patient's severe aortic insufficiency. The aortic valve leaflets are excised in their entirety. Please note that the sinuses of Valsalva are completely normal. After excising the valve leaflets, we size the valve annulus. We select a 25 millimeter sizer that freely passes into the left ventricular outflow tract. After appropriate identification, the valve is washed based upon standard washing protocols. During washing of the valve, we elect to place our annular stitches. The approach is done beginning at the commissure between the left and non-coronary sinus. We proceed in a clockwise direction. Two O pledgeted polyester sutures are placed concentrically around the valve annulus with the pledgets on the ventricular side of the annulus. The valve is then brought up into the operative field and sutures are passed through the bioprosthetic valve sewing ring. This is done in a counterclockwise fashion. After placing all of the sutures into the valve annulus, the valve is seated into place. Note the flexibility of the valve on the valve holder and the ease in which it can be taken down towards the native valve annulus. Again, this is a 25 millimeter Sorin Mitroflow aortic bioprosthesis, and despite the size, it is easily implanted down toward the native aortic annulus. Sutures are cut and with a small amount of counter traction the valve holder is removed. Inspection of the left ventricular outflow tract across the pericardial leaflets reveals excellent seating of the valve. After tying the sutures, all sutures are cut. The aortotomy is reapproximated. We prefer to use a running horizontal mattress suture as our initial closure, and we follow this running horizontal mattress suture with an over and over stitch. Despite imbricating a large amount of aortotomy, we have plenty of room for a quick, efficient, and easy closure, regardless of the size of the pericardial bioprosthesis. On table, post-procedure transesophageal echo reveals a well-seated aortic valve, absence of aortic regurgitation. Peak velocity across this valve indicates that our peak gradient approaches 3 to 5 millimeters of mercury. The Soren Mitroflow pericardial bioprosthesis has demonstrated ease of implantability, excellent hemodynamics, 
and long-term durability.